Okay, after you've committed the project to GitHub, we're going to set up local development. And that starts by going into your Trellis group vars development WordPress sites.yaml file. So you can just go into GitHub. Uh, you can right click it and open an atom. That'll just open up your pro whole project in atom or sublime text, whatever you want to use. All right, so we're just going to come into Trellis group vars development. WordPress sites.yaml and this is where we configure the local development so come up here on line 6 and we're just going to change this to whatever our final domain name will be you'll probably want to name it that which is jacklib.io for me and in here instead of example.dev I'm just going to highlight all the examples and replace them with jackalope save that and then we uh, Let's refer back to our blueprint. We want to come into our vault.yaml and let's take these examples and replace them with jackalope. And this is jackalope.io. So just make sure that line 7 right here matches up with your line 6 right here. And jackalope.dev will be our development URL. Um, you can also set up browser sync by going into your manifest.json. That's under your your theme assets file. So let's just search for manifest.json. You can do that by doing command P in Atom. And just make sure that says your desired name. It should start out as example and just change that to jackalope or whatever you need it to be alright so once your dev URL is changed we're ready to vagrant up um, before I'm just gonna commit any changes I have to local config commit to master sync Okay. And now we're ready to run Vagrant up. So we're going to run that from our Trellis directory. So just come into Trellis and make sure that I don't have any machines running in here. You can run Vagrant status. And it's just going to say default, not created. So we're ready to run Vagrant up. And the first time we run Vagrant up, it does a lot of things. It sets up the whole LAMP stack and ties up Nginx, everything. So ties that into the databases, ties that into WordPress. It takes, mm, I'd say, maybe 15 minutes or so on the average computer. And uh, it, you're probably most likely to run into errors here or on the deployment. So just keep your eyes peeled on it on the log but uh, if we set everything up right it should run just fine and we'll be ready for local development